All right, welcome back for part five, and uh, we're going to be looking at uh, Power Glide right now. Now, Power Glide was never a member of the uh, Aerial Bots per se. Granted, he was like one of the first uh, flying. It's like uh, Autobots, and uh, he turns into an A10. It's like a Thunderbolt 2, AK Warthog. Very cool plane. Very popular for Transformers. Uh, if you recall the um, other Superion, the one used for um, uh, which we got Energon slash Range of the Fallen had two of them. <clears throat> and the uh, interesting note about this one is that most of the uh, aerial bots are actually pretty scale with each other pretty well. This one not so much. He, he should be like the same size as some of the other jets, but he's made smaller so he could be a gun, which is weird. Yeah. So overall, cool color scheme going on, and yeah. Very neat, it's like a mode. <clears throat> now, one of the things that makes him interesting is that they also made him so that he could become a gun, which is weird. So you take him back here, you uh, fold these down, you pull these down. It can be a little tricky. They jam quite easily. There you go. Pull these down. Make sure he doesn't come apart. Then you take the wings, fold them up, and uh, peg them into each other. Fold them up. There you go. And uh, using his uh, landing gear as uh, a handle. And then you come here, you pull this up, and it becomes like a scope. And you'll notice the back of his arms here has like missile pods when you fold these down. So this sort of becomes a gun that can be used. Now, you can use it, it's like as the. For a deluxe, like say air raid here, and works pretty well if oversized. Looks better on, um, say, a, the a Voyager like Silverbolt. And uh, yeah, and then it can combine with Silverbolt's gun. It's like for Superion, or you can just have him wielding two guns. So it's interesting that I guess they made him a target master now. So say what you will about that. So, to get him into robot mode, again, from this mode, we just sort of start here, take his arms, and then there's this one here's on a hinge, if you will. Hinge it down, close it there. This uh, part here, actually, bring it back out so you can do it easier. You can turn the uh, front section here to reveal his head, and then plot it down. And you unpeg his arms. There you go. Then bring down his feet. Yeah, and there's a power glide for you. He's very reminiscent of the uh, G1 look and transformation. Granted, that he's much smaller and uh, he can still hold weapons uh, he's got the uh, five millimeter hand posts the overall is like a nice representation of power glide the uh, thing about uh, him is like if you go on shapeways they release two small guns that you that he can hold that also function to sort of anchor um <clears throat> uh, alpha bravo as a backpack mode or extra weapon system it's like on a for Superion. So there's that if you want to consider that. I'll leave that in the description. Uh, you know, if you want that. I didn't get that piece, but you know, you might be interested in it. Alright, so uh, tune in for the next part. And we'll be looking at the Silver Bolt before we get to uh, Superion himself. So thanks for watching and uh, see you very soon.